Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, we're back with another haul video. A lot of cool, exciting items to take a look at. So let's get started with the manga. Continuing my Darkstalkers collection, I picked up Darkstalkers Red Earth Maleficarum. I, I hope I pronounced that properly. From Bami Ito. I love that this is a spin-off from the Darkstalkers franchise, starring Morrigan, of course, but it also features characters from Red Earth, another underrated and forgotten Capcom series from the 90s. I love Darkstalkers, and it's great to add this to my ever-expanding collection of Darkstalker things. <laughs> so, yeah, great art, fantastic little book. I'm really happy that I own this. Finally, I picked up Shigeru Mizuki's Nononba. I've been tracking this down for a while. I think I bought it from Books A Million at retail price. I love the idea, the concept behind this book. The fact that Mizuki took all the stories that his grandmother told him and can sort of turn it into this amazing manga Gekiga collection is so impressive and awesome. I love it and I highly recommend it. One, if you're into Gekiga, Two, if you're into uh, yokai, and three, if you just want something out of the norm, yet somehow familiar, because at the end of the day, we all have uh, stories similar to this, right? Oral traditions passed on uh, from older members of our families. So over the holidays, I decided to start getting a couple series that I've been wanting to collect, but I, for some reason or another, forgot to start getting. Now I know this is going to be difficult because the last two volumes I want to say of I Am A Hero are very difficult to come by. They're out of print so hopefully we get those printed or I can find copies in the wild for cheap quote unquote. So nonetheless I picked up I Am A Hero the omnibus editions. I started out with the first three. Really looking forward to reading this. I know the basic premise of it being a zombie survival story but I actually don't know much about it. I've been spoiler free in regards to I'm a hero so I'm excited. The art looks great, fresh, clean and I actually really like uh, the dimensions of the book. They feel nice on hand. Really cool. And I kind of forgot I was collecting the Fist of the North Star series. I picked up the first hardcover and I totally forgot last year to pick up the second one. So here's that. I did order the third one but it was very recently, so it's not on this video. Here is more Fist of the North Star goodness right there. Really been enjoying this. Just full of testosterone with uh, Bat Max apocalyptic hellscapes. I, I love it. And in a totally opposite move, here is Yona of the Dawn Volume 4. I told you guys last year that I was going to make it a goal in 2022 to get as much of Yona of the Dawn as possible. The art is always beautiful and I'm looking forward to making uh, sort of a late first impressions video on my thoughts when it comes to Yona of the Dawn. Similar to I Am A Hero, here we have another series that I've heard about for ages and I sort of forgot about it until recently after having read uh, Shuzo Shimi's uh, The Flowers of Evil, I wanted to get more Oshimi books. Uh, I wanted to own them physically, so I started picking up happiness volumes. This shouldn't be too much of a problem to get. I got the first three right here, and it's a vampire story, and knowing Oshimi, it's going to be very uh, mind-bending and psychological, which is my kind of jam, and hopefully, you know, it has a premise somewhat similar to Tokyo Ghoul. I'm not a huge fan of Tokyo Ghoul, but uh, ho hopefully this, uh, I like this a lot more. And continuing another series that I collected the first three volumes early last year, I want to say. Here are volumes four, five, and six of Inio Asano's Dead Dead Demons uh, Destruction, Day to Day Destruction, or however you pronounce that. Uh, really looking forward to doing a full read through as soon as possible. And I ordered more volumes as of recording this haul video for you guys. So yeah, I'm really excited to catch up on this series. Which as of this video is wrapping up, and I want to say with 15 or 16 volumes total. I might be mistaken on that, but I think it'll be just slightly over the volume count of Poon Poon. 
making it Asano's longest running series so far. From Q Hayashida, I got Die Dark Volume 3. Now this took forever to ship. I, I made this order at the beginning of December 2021. It, I don't know what happened. I guess the holiday sales, it took forever to ship. I was worried because a lot of items were going out of stock at Right Stuff. So I didn't know if they were going to get to my order in time. Apparently, maybe that's what happened. I'm not too sure. I love these volumes. They're so nice and compact and, and really unlike everything else on the shelf. I mentioned on the last haul video that I was finally getting into Battle Angel Alita. I debated for years if I wanted to get the hardcovers or not. Then I realized I don't really have the space for them. And I'd rather have these compact, smaller editions, just six volumes. And I got the first two on the last haul. Now here is volume three. I ordered volume four. Five and six should be around the corner in the upcoming months. And we'll have the first series on hand so that I can do a proper video on it and talk about it with you guys. Here's one of my favorite rom-coms. It is Rent a Girlfriend, Volume 10. I love this series. Great art and a really funny uh, story with characters that, uh, you know, can be frustrating at times, but also really uh, wholesome and nice and funny. And uh, like I've said before, I appreciate the setting of it. It's a rom-com and it's not in high school with teenagers. I really appreciate that. Makes me enjoy this a lot more. Mason Ikoku Volume 6 of the Collector's Edition, really awesome. I have to admit, I've not started this yet, but I plan to uh, real soon, because hey, six volumes, I, that's a ton of material to get started, right? I believe it's going to be 10 volumes total. I, I'm not too sure about that, so you might be uh, correcting me in the comment section, but yeah, this looks fantastic, and I cannot wait to dive in and, and enjoy a cool, nice uh, rom-com drama slice of life. Here is that time I got reincarnated as a slime volume 18, which I believe were caught up with the Japanese releases. So there won't be any more slime manga of the main title because there are a lot of spin-offs of the main title in quite some time. And I'm excited about that because I can read this chunk. I, I believe I read the first 10 and I haven't picked the series back up again. So now I'm going to check all of this out. And the art on this is just cool as hell, man. I love the character designs in the manga. Can't wait to catch up with this. Here is Frieren. I hope I said that right. Uh, Frieren Beyond Journey's End Volume 1. Everybody was hyping it up when it was first announced. The premise looks interesting. We follow the elf mage Frieren, uh, you know, she defeated the demon lord with her companions, her party, and uh, elves naturally live a long life. So what happens after her party is no longer here, and how does she carry on? And I'm, I'm doing the book of disservice right now, but trust me, it's pretty awesome, and I do like this series. I ordered volume 2, but unfortunately did not arrive for this haul video. Here is Vinland Saga, Volume 12. Not only was this book delayed three times, I want to say. First it was October, then November, then December. I can't wait to catch up. I'm still uh, behind on the series, but, you know, I, I've talked about it at length in these haul videos. I love the art and the historical fiction aspect and the, the characters and all that stuff. Uh, this is a really cool special series. Uh, really kick-ass and... Uh, great to look at and the presentation overall from these hardcovers are just phenomenal now a little something different for you guys here is my godzilla art book from kaida yuji this is pretty interesting i want to make this story for you guys as you look over uh, a little overview here that i filmed for you guys i placed this order at the start of november and it was delayed a month and it shipped separately from an order that i placed on december on right stuff it took a while to arrive and when it did all i got was an empty box i was immediately furious at what happened thinking okay either this ripped and the book fell out at some point in transit or it was ripped, somebody saw what was inside and stole it. You know, you can think of many scenarios, but unfortunately, we're never going to know. Something happened mid-transit and the book was lost, but what I found really ridiculous and sort of like adding insult to injury 
is that I still got the box because it had my address on it and the USPS workers uh, told me to file a claim. So I did. I emailed uh, the route insurance service from Right Stuff and they were kind enough to work on the case almost immediately that same day. I spoke to one of their uh, customer service individuals or whatever and I sent in all the pictures and filed the, uh, the necessary things for it and they asked me for either a replacement or a refund. I asked for a replacement because I want this book. I, I love uh, Yuji's artwork. It's just emblematic and awesome as a Godzilla fanboy. I gotta have it. His first English uh, art book. So it was really special and I really wanted it. So long story short, uh, I did get the replacement. They shipped it. Took a while. They they uh, it really took their time to ship it, <laughs> and I finally got it, and it is awesome. I love this book. So the moral of the story is, uh, for me at least, route I think is worth adding to your orders, just to be sure. Now for something a little bit ludish, if you will. Here is the art of Creon. I hope I said that right. A really awesome uh, artist that I found online. I'm a huge fan of his art. And I saw that he, I was jealous of all those original pieces that were a little bit out of my price range, but he announced uh, art books specifically for uh, the year 2021. So I went ahead and ordered my copy straight from France, which was awesome. And as you can see, lots of wonderful illustrations from gaming franchises to comics to anime and manga. So that's why I'm featuring it here. I just really like the art and I highly recommend checking out uh, Creon's artwork on social. Moving on to the anime portion of this video, here we have Zombieland Saga Season 1. I know this came out ages ago and I talked about it on the channel when I did my seasonal review. I loved it. Uh, season 2 made my list of the best anime of 2021. So for some reason I just forgot to pick it up and uh, during the holidays I think it was on sale on Amazon. Uh, instead of 48, I, I want to say it was close to 30 bucks or less, something like that. Ordered it, got it, really awesome, excited to add it to my collection. And here is the digital code if you guys want to redeem it. Sailor Moon, Sailor Stars, or Season 5, Part 2. Finally, this puts an end to my collection of Sailor Moon. You might remember a couple, well, actually a while ago, since 2020, I've been getting, or maybe before that, I don't know. I have to double check when the first box arrived, but it's been a while since I've collected uh, Sailor Moon Blu-rays. I don't have the movies, and I'm not really interested in the Crystal series. I like owning the original. Uh, I'm excited that I own all five seasons, but we're not cheap. Uh, most of them I had to wait for sales to pick them up. Others I waited for uh, deals on Amazon or I think one or two I bought from eBay from sellers offering them for cheap. So yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, I'm excited to own this classic series on my anime shelf. And not going to lie, a lot of memories collecting these titles of uh, stuff that happened throughout my life in the past couple of years so it's it's a little bittersweet to cap this off uh same with uh inuyasha from last month those two uh, shows uh mean a lot to me so it was pretty special to me uh, and bittersweet to finish collecting them here is akudama drive on blu-ray one of my favorite shows from 2020 an original anime series that i highly recommend if you like cyberpunk if you like uh like Quentin Tarantino movies uh, mixed with, I don't know, Blade Runner, I think you would get Akudama Drive. Highly recommend it. Studio Bureau knocked it out of the park with the animation. I just really enjoyed the story and the characters on this one. And once again, here's the digital code if you guys want to redeem it. Now here is another of my favorite shows of 2020. It is the anime adaptation of the Korean manhwa Tower of God. Really enjoyed this. Made a review on the channel here if you want to check it out. Loved it. I hope we get another season. Uh, you know, they haven't announced anything, but I'm pretty hopeful. I thought it was pretty successful, and I think it, mostly everybody enjoyed it, right? So, yeah, this is another of the Crunchyroll Originals program. They partnered with Viz to release it on home media, which is awesome. I love it. 
And just like with Inspector, this has the full season, all 12 episodes on Blu-ray and inside, you can see here, a cool poster of the key visual for the series. Next up, another lewd purchase, if you will. I'll make no excuses. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was hilarious, super raunchy, but at the same time, uh, fascinating to look at. This was Interspecies Reviewers. Here is The Steel Book. I thought it was funny. Uh, yes, this has a lot. It is heavy on the not safe for work, but it is on purpose. It's this sex comedy. It's not trying to disguise itself as something else. So yeah, I love that at least the cover for it and the back as well is safe for work, if you will, of this steel book and inside, even the inside. Uh, you get a really heavy book as an extra, which has storyboard art as well as background artwork and a small chapter uh, from, I don't know if it's from the manga or a new chapter made by the creator. I have to double check on that. But still really awesome that I own Interspecies Reviewers on Blu-ray. Finally, for some live action stuff, here is Ran from Akira Kurosawa. This is the Best Buy limited edition 4K Blu-ray looking absolutely phenomenal from Studio Canal, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, just another classic Kurosawa movie that I really wanted to own. I was going to get the Blu-ray edition, but then I read that the resolution was pretty crappy and people recommended me online to get the uh, 4K from Europe. But uh, and I know 4Ks are region free, but I held off and then I found out a couple days later that we were getting this, uh, you know, uh, 4K steelbook for November. I got it uh, from a seller on eBay, if I remember correctly. I didn't actually buy it from Best Buy directly, but nonetheless, I got it for around the same price and it shipped and I got it. Here is Zadom, the 30th anniversary edition. This is awesome. You might remember a couple months back, I picked up the second movie. The first one was on this little licensing loop and we were still waiting for it to be released and I got the second one just in time because the first one was announced and I was super excited, ordered it as soon as possible. Now I have uh, one and two on uh, Blu-ray format. Now this one I'm always a little bit hesitant to talk about on the channel because I really do not want to talk about uh, the creator uh, and the disgusting human being that he is. And I don't want to support his work or anything, but I got to face facts that Kenshin is a huge part of my childhood and one of the things that got me into anime and manga as a whole. And this is the live action adaptation of Rurouni Kenshin. Here we have the first three movies that were released on Blu-ray. I got them through Right Stuff on their holiday sale. I think they were uh, below retail price. So I was excited for that because I have heard nothing but great things about it with a really nice uh, cinematography and choreography and the acting and all that stuff. So I'm excited that they finally got an anime or manga adaptation right over in Japan. So I was excited for that. Now, um, I can separate the work from the artist. And uh, again, a lot of people worked on this that have no problems. Uh, that committed no crimes, so I just see this as an adaptation, and that's it, and I can enjoy it. But yeah, I, I don't tend to talk about the creator uh, on this channel, so let's skip that. Finally, for my Samurai Blu-ray collection, here is Takashi Miike's 13 Assassins, a really kick-ass movie that I've been wanting to get for a while, for for a long time, ever since um, the start of last year, I've been wanting to add it. And for some reason, I just kept putting it off and forgetting about it. And recently I saw it, I think it was like 10 bucks on Amazon or something, and I picked it up. So yeah, I hope this gets a boutique release at some point, because it's just pretty bare bones. It's just the cover and the disc by itself. That's pretty boring. So that's it. That's all I got for my manga and anime slash movie haul of uh, 
22, January 2022, but also contents from December. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. I truly do appreciate it. If you guys want me to review any of the products featured on this haul, let me know in the comment section down below. So that's it. I gotta go. God bless. Stay safe. I will catch all of you on our next video. Thank you.